Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon of Gaming. I am here with a quick little graphics tutorial. Um, so I have had some questions about uh, shortcut keys. So the easiest thing to do for shortcut keys is to go to File, then down to Preferences, then get Keys. It should default to Keys, but if not, just click that little tab for Keys. And then you have all these and it will say what it is and what it does. So layer and then deletes the layer so you can assign it's really everything that you need and ha can do and you can assign them any key so yeah i mean it's not too difficult all the standard stuff like uh control n is a uh, new file uh control o is open a file control s is save etc those basic things are already bound and to see what's already bound just look for a little squiggle on the side over here See, control N already bound. And then someone also asked about the color palette. So the color palette, uh, I'm not too sure exactly what you mean by that. Uh, maybe like a change it or advance it or something. Uh, I'm not too certain. I think that just changes the grid. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by the color palette. I mean, it has the color palette here, but I, I don't know what it does. So but hmm, weird um what does this do um it, I don't know exactly what this does but yeah uh, you can also change like the shades of stuff by changing this so you can get more exact colors um, I don't know exactly what you mean by that sort of stuff. Um, shading, uh, I don't really know how to shade things. Maybe the easiest thing to do is choose a black, and then just every once in a while make it like lighter, lighter black. But I, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know if this thing has shading, kind of like Photoshop, where you can like smudge it and give it that shaded look. This thing isn't really too advanced, it's more for pixel art, so shading isn't a strong suit of it. Uh, what you could do is you could take a darker version of the color, so say I take this red, I could take this version, a slightly duller, darker version of it, and put it where the light is opposite. So, you know, if you see like the light's coming over here, you put the darker side right here to make it look like there's a shadow. Um, border control border correction um i'll have to look into that I, I i'll look into a lot of stuff but if you can explain in more detail of what you want me to uh try and to uh, tutorial then that would be a lot helpful because it's just it's not very clear on uh what exactly you want me to showcase so, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I know this was a pretty short video, but it was mostly just uh, kind of here's a few things that people asked for that I could easily show you. And it sounds like I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> there, I think I'm good. But, yeah, I'm actually not going to be here tomorrow because I'm going to a concert. So, I would give you some gameplay, but, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I helped you. If not, um, just let me know what I can do to hopefully solve your issues. Anyway. See you guys next next video.